when I see something like that in a bladder, I need to get that out straight away. You need to be prepared for the possibility it could be cancer. All right, so can you just say a quick little goodbye to her? Okay, because we're going to have to take her straight into surgery. Take care of her, please. Okay. Anyway, that's all right. In Twickenham, Beta and Leilu also have an appointment with Scott for their much-loved pet hedgehog. So she's Luta, she's one and a half years old. She's an African pygmy hedgehog. You can, like, really pet her, give her kisses. She's a very special one. These endearing animals can be kept as pets, and their growth in popularity means there are now around 10,000 of them in homes across the UK. She's more like a cat because she knows her name and you have to give her belly rubs and she's really um, very close to our hearts. Hello, baby. But recently this prickly princess has been struggling with ongoing bladder issues. First, what I noticed that uh, she had blood in her pee. Of course, we went to the vet and she got some antibiotics, but then we noticed that she was a bit incontinent. After multiple courses of antibiotics, Luta doesn't seem to be improving. So Beta and Leilu are taking her to see Scott for further investigation. She is suffering and she is weak. It's just something that is just breaking your heart because you can see that, I don't know, she was really, I think, in pain. I'm gonna take you to Scott, all right? So I'm gonna be all right, I'll be. I am really worried that she needs a surgery. I mean, it scares me to death because she's just tiny. We have to find a solution because it's just not the way how she can live. Hi, Beta. Hi, Hi. Lily. How are you doing? Fine, thanks. All right, well, let's see our little lady, eh? All snuggled up there. Look at all those blankets. My goodness. Just there you are. Yeah, Always nice. just so amazed at how beautiful mm. your girl is. Hello, beautiful. And still problems with her ability to go to the toilet yeah, to wee. She actually tried in the morning and was just in there and she couldn't do anything. How painful are we talking? She can cry and scream and... Scream? Yeah. Okay. Well, I can just see she flinches a little bit every time I touch around her bladder. You can just see her mm. little legs lift up so she is uncomfortable. So I think what we need to do today is to do an ultrasound of her bladder. Okay. Just to have a better look okay. at the bladder and understand how it's functioning and if there's any problems with it. All right. So what we're going to do with you, Mrs. is I'm just going to take you downstairs. I'm going to give her a little bit of gas because that's the only way she'll let me properly look at her tummy. And once I've been able to assess that with an ultrasound, we'll go from there. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. All right, will you say goodbye to Mummy? Goodbye. See you. <laughs> Luta very much is part of Beta and Leilu's family. So if something was to go wrong with this poor little creature, I know that they will be both devastated. Okay. All right. Come on then, let's go, sweetie. Here we go. Please take good care of her, OK? While Leilu heads off to school, Beta will wait to hear what Scott finds on the ultrasound. So, Luta's back with us again. Mm. Is she struggling to urinate again? She is, yeah, she's straining. And okay. uh, Beta really thinks mm. that she's in pain to the point where she's actually been screaming. Oh, no. Nurse Nathan and Scott's new vet, Tina, are helping out today. So I met Luta about a month and a half ago. And I automatically fell in love with Luta after one consultation. She's something very unique and very special. Oh! oh. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable, Luta. I am trying to help. I'm going to leave you with lovely Tina. <laughs> well, let's try and give her a little bit of gas. All right. The anesthetic we're going to perform today is an inhalation anesthetic. So it's basically placing Luta into a box that then the anesthetic agent is then funneled into. She then goes to sleep really quite quickly and then we put her onto a mask and we can maintain her on that whilst I perform the ultrasound. Okay, 
Let's see what we can see, shall we? Do you see that, guys? I mean, that is literally filling the whole bladder, which is why she's straining so much. It must be very uncomfortable. This image shows very clearly that we have a pretty serious problem on our hands. Hi there, Beta. Uh, Thanks hi. for waiting. Come on down, I've got something to show you. Here's your little lady. All right, and so when I put the probe onto her bladder, here's her bladder here, all right? That should be a black bag, okay, full of fluid. Instead, she's got something gray sitting in there. Can you see that? And that shouldn't be there. The only way for me to try and make her more comfortable and to make it better is by actually going in and performing surgery. All right. But you can make it. I mean, she's very small. She is very small, so I need to use some very small instruments. Nathan's here watching the anaesthetic. OK, we're watching like a hawk. We know how much you love her, all right? So we're going to make sure we do what we need to today. But when I see something like that in a bladder, I need to get that out straight away because it could be hopefully something like a bit of protein. It could be some sort of mineral accumulation. But of course, you need to be prepared for the possibility it could be cancer, right? No, it's not. I hope, no. I hope not as well. I hope not as well. OK. All right. So can you just say a quick little goodbye to her? OK, because we're going to have to take her straight into surgery. Take care of her, please. OK. Well, Thanks, okay. Ryan. All right. We'll see you in a little bit. You just call me later. I will call you, yeah. All right. All right, we'll look after your girl. Rita. She adores Luta. Um, we're really hopeful that it isn't a mask inside the bladder because that can be quite serious. And if it is, I will be heartbroken um, along with Beta. But we will we will get through this together, no matter the outcome. Because Luta is so tiny, I'm going to have to use some tiny instruments. So what I'm going to do is to open up our eye kit, which is the ophthalmology kit. It has some tiny little instruments in there and also I have a little tiny vet in the form of Tina. <laughs> All right, so I'm just going to make the first cut. Oh, look at the size of it. Is that the bladder? Yep. Bizarre. Really bizarre. Uh, what we're discovering here is some kind of mass developing. It's very large. It's compressing Luta's bladder and it's directly attached to it. So it certainly is the absolute reason why Luta has been struggling to urinate. Do you think we can still open that? We're going to have to. Mm. So anyway, we're going to make this any better. What the hell was that? Is that the uterus? What I've just popped out is pretty horrifying. This is some sort of ugly alien that is living inside what looks like the uterus just attached to the bladder. So what it's actually been doing is growing and making Luta's bladder smaller and smaller. This is absolutely huge. I mean, for a hedgehog, this would be like having a bowling ball growing in your abdomen. So taking this out will give this animal immediate relief. Oof. Yeah. Scott will send the lump to pathology for testing, and it will be an anxious wait before he learns the results. Let's just hope and pray, hey, because uh, Beta is so emotionally involved with this creature. Yeah. If this turns out to be something nasty, she's going to be devastated. So let's wake her up. Okay. On recovery from anaesthetic, animals just don't really know where they are or what they're doing. But obviously surgery can be painful as well. And even though we manage it with pain relief, Luta is showing signs of discomfort. Bless her. Good girl. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. Good girl. Come on, baby. Hey. Luta will have to be closely monitored overnight to make sure she fully recovers from the operation. Okay, have a snuggle. That's it. Hello. 
are you? <laughs> Come on then. At the end of a busy day, Scott's arrived home with a very special little passenger. Hi, guys! Hi. Luta has had a really big day today and she's going to be painful after the procedure. And rather than send her home to the very worried Beta, I thought instead I'm going to take her back to my place. She's going to get all the love and attention she could possibly desire, lots of cuddles and the medication she needs. There she is. What would you think? She's adorable. Nice and gentle, that's it. So Luta, the fact that she's gone through surgery, they understand what daddy's job is. It's being a vet, it's looking after animals and sometimes performing things on them that they don't like. She is, she's got a lovely, fluffy, soft tummy that he had to take a little lump out of it today. That's literally gross. <laughs> a lot of daddy's job is literally gross. But she seems much happier. I think Loot is going to get a lot of attention, perhaps a little more than she'd like. So we will have to uh, make sure we, as always, curb the crazy, keep things nice and calm for her, because she has, after all, had surgery today. But I think she's going to get a lot of love. And better to be here, I think, than in the vet practice tonight. Closest thing to a real home. Good girl. Well done, Loot, our good girl. Oh, there we go. <laughs> when she's feeling better, then she can go home to her mummy. OK. Yeah? I'm going to miss her. I've only known her five minutes. Want <laughs> <laughs> something to eat for us, sweetie? Okay, go on. Lisa, yeah, sweetie. There you go. What's that? Yeah, you're feeling better. Luta's night of TLC with the Miller family has given the little hedgehog an appetite, and now she's ready to go home. Mummy will be here soon, won't she? You're gonna go back in there, wait for her. Ladies, look who I've got. Beta and Leilu have just arrived to collect their precious pet. I'm so cold, baby. I'm so sorry. <laughs> well, you shouldn't be sorry because I think by being very brave, we've got a very good result and that she's recovered beautifully. Uh, but the tumour is about that big. So what was happening is that tumour was pressurising the bladder, so she just didn't have anywhere for her weed to go. And I think by removing it, she's going to be much more comfortable. All right. But now I know you guys are worried because we do have this yeah. agonizing wait. Yeah. All right, until the pathologist gets back to me and tells me what that tumor is. And then we'll work out what we have to go mm. from there. Okay. If this lump comes back as non cancerous, as benign, Luta should have a normal quality of life almost immediately and have a normal lifespan. But if it comes back as something nasty, the answer's altogether different. Oh, she so pretty. is so <laughs> So you're deep. She does love you. It's she incredible. You. She you good to him. It's a huge relief that that pain is not there anymore, and hopefully that will go away completely. But we're still worried about the results on Thursday. Yeah, that's okay. fine. You give lots of love. I know that you will. I'll speak to you in a few days. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Scott. All right, See then. You my later. pleasure. See you later, girls. Take bye care. Bye. 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 All the best. Bye. Bye, bye Luta. <laughs> bye. bye. See ya. Hi, Scott. Hi, Vita. Come on through. You've got your girl. Yeah. There you go. Pop her down and grab a seat. It's a new day, and a very nervous beta is back to see Scott to find out Luther's pathology results. So, as you know, we had to remove that large lump uh, we found in her uterus. We were hopeful it was going to be something benign, but in fact, um, we've spoken with the pathologist, and what we've found is something called a leomyosarcoma, which unfortunately is not good news. And this particular tumour is incredibly malignant. What does it mean? Because of how vicious this particular tumour is, what we need to do is perform a hysterectomy like in a female who has uterine cancer. Okay, so what it means, if you do that, then she can live a longer life. That's the hope, yes. 
The surgery we need to perform on the uterus is called an ovarian hysterectomy, and that's removing the uterus and the ovaries together. Now remove any remnants of this tumour, and hopefully Luther will live a full, natural life. You just need to have this one last bit of faith in me, and I will take it downstairs and we'll do it straight away. The sooner we can do it, the better chance she has that I'll be able to completely cure her. That's the best, I mean, you say completely cure her, so that's the only reason why I think we have to do that to her, that after that she can be fine. <laughs> Beta is understandably devastated at the news. The last thing she wants is for her girl to go through discomfort and a surgery again. Say bye to Mama. <laughs> no. It is very sad, but it's the right thing to do. All right, speak to you later. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Right. Here we go again. OK, so Nathan, I'm cutting now, OK? OK. Scott is starting the delicate hysterectomy surgery on little hedgehog Luther. I'm doing all your handiwork there. No. <laughs> Well, I think what we do is let's start with the ovaries on each side. Once we're able to locate the ovaries at the end of the uterine horns, we then tie them off. And now what we're left with is then the uterine body, the womb. Now what we need to do is to choose a position that doesn't affect the urinary system, but at the same time we need to take enough to ensure that we're removing every single cell that might be left from that nasty tumour. OK, team, there we go. Hopefully... It's the last time little Lucha will have to go under the knife. It's so sad. So that was a very successful outing. We've managed to get what we wanted without causing any other damage. And hopefully, I can send her home with a clear bill of health. And guys, that is that. All right, let's wake this girl up, shall we? OK. Oh, baby, not the crying again. Oh, baby. Oh, honey. Do you think it's a surgery with this thing, Scott? <laughs> <laughs> I know, waking up to this. <laughs> Poor thing. Yeah. As Luta starts to come round from the anaesthetic, mm -hmm. everyone is relieved. Oh, so sweet. It's good news. We're smiling at the end of the surgery today, and hopefully this is the last time. I'm very happy. <laughs> Hello, ladies. Hi. Hi, Scott. Hi, here's your baby. Oh, hello. Luther. Cheers. Luther. We've heard you've been a very brave girl, my little one. She has been a very brave girl, you're right. She's been so good to have two surgeries in just a short space of time. But this surgery I feel very good about. Luther. Just to be 100% sure that we have removed absolutely every cancer cell that we possibly could, we are going to be sending off the reproductive tract to our pathologists to have a good check under a microscope to make sure that we can give Luta the all clear. So it means that she will have a hopefully long and happy, hedgy life with us. I hope so. I hope so. And I hear you're throwing a party for us soon, is that right? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, I think so. We have to throw a party, no? I was really worried yesterday about her and what will happen, but now I'm really, really happy. And um, and she looks really great. Now that the surgeries are over, she's going to be happy hedgehog and we're going to celebrate. All right then, little lady. Next time so... I'll see you, it'll be party time, <laughs> eh? And yeah. hopefully we'll be and so... delivering some good news. Hedgehog party, hey? No. How many of them have you been to in your life? None. Same. <laughs> it's the day of Little Hedgehog Luther's party. <laughs> oh, it's so my favourite. So cute. <laughs> Scott and Tina have arrived, and there's good news. Hello. Hello Hi, Beta. How are you? Hi. The pathology reports come back, and by removing the uterus, we've removed every single cancer cell that's present. So that means that Luther is given a clean bill of health. She's free of cancer. Long may she live. Oh. 
Ah, there she is. Hello, Luta. Hello. How is she doing after the surgery? She is just amazing. I think she's really fine. Well, I love all this food. It's amazing. <laughs> Look at this food. It's really yum. Look at this. Okay. Yummy. Oh, that looks nice. Tina, do you want to have a little nibble of that? Oh. I wouldn't, oh. actually. <laughs> There's mealworms in there. <laughs> mealworms. It's a hedgehog party. What did you expect? Look, Luta, what do you think? Will she let us have a look at her tummy and just have a look at the scar? Good girl. Wow, she's looking brilliant. She really is looking brilliant. After major surgery, well, two of them, in fact, Luta's looking none the worse. She's actually looking really well. She seems very healthy and very happy. <laughs> we need to celebrate her recovery, and now it's time to eat some food in the shape of hedgehogs. <laughs> well, Pina's the best. Oh, I just picked myself on a fake hedgehog. Mm. Occupational hazard. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's so great to see her looking so well, so I think we can say a big cheers to Luta's health. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, sweetheart. Yeah, good girl. Hi, I'm Dr. Danny. If you enjoyed this video, then please remember to subscribe to the Bondi Vet YouTube channel. Click on the screen now to continue watching more great content. And if you love Bondi Vet, then check out our Bondi Pet Marketplace at bondipet.com for a great range of Aussie pet products and services. We can't wait to see you there.